It all started on a rainy Tuesday. Thanks for taking me shopping, Lenny. I just needed a few outfit changes for my audition tonight. No problem, Lowell. Uh, uh. Hello, everyone. Did you miss me? Mr. Sprinkles, if you'd be so kind as to add my change to... Where's Mr. Sprinkles? We took my bear full of cash, Eunice! Of all the siblings, in all the rooms, in all the house... Lenny? She walked into mine. I need your help. I've been robbed, and you're the only one I can trust! Aw, thank you, Lola. Don't get it twisted, sister. You were with me all day, so I know you're innocent. Oh, right. Here's a scoop. Mr. Sprinkles has been taken, and I need you to find the two-bit goon who did it. I'd sniff him out myself, but I've got a gig at the Blue Monkey tonight. Who could say no to those beautiful eyes and threatening smile? I'll take the case. Thanks, Lenny. You're a classy gal. I started the scene of the crime. You might find some clues. I didn't know who clues was, but I'd soon find out. Uh, Lenny? Okay. What do you dames know? And which one of you is clues, huh? The dolls were clammed up. Dead end. Then I saw something. Cookie crumbs! This blew the case wide open. I wondered if this smooth crooner was hiding something. Nice piano you got there, Luna. Suppose you tell me where you got the money for it? Suppose it's a hand-me-down from Chuck. Suppose that seems awfully convenient and nice. Suppose it was taking up too much room in his van, okay? <sighs> Another dead end. Play it again, Luna. I was totally stumped. Who else could have taken Lola's bear? This piano sure does have some sticky keys. Is this chocolate? Sticky keys. Car keys! That's it! Lola's trusty car mechanic. Another lead! This time, I knew I was right. All right, bub. Spill the beans before I have to tighten the screws on ya. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Hand me that flathead over there. How are things with your twin these days? Everything swell? Well, she was kind of giving me the what for on account of being too gassy, but it's nothing we don't normally bump our gums about. So you wouldn't be trying to pull one over on Lola by stealing a precious stuffed bear. Are you kidding me? Steal, Mr. Sprinkles? I'd be pushing up daisies if I did that. Call me soft, but I believed her. <laughs> Lana, don't eat my evidence! Mm. Sorry. You know I love dog biscuits. Wait a minute. Those are dog biscuit crumbs? Things had finally stacked up. All right, you fiend. Come out and confess. Ooh, Charles, you rascal. I bet you thought you'd get away with it, huh? I'd done it. I cracked the case. Turns out no one was after Lola's money. Charles just wanted a chew toy. I guess you could say every dog has his day. 